welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Wellington. But I would bring you along and show you a few of the things. A few of the things that I purchased just to get ready for whatever life is in store for us with this COVID-19, potentially working from home for a little while, uh, depending on what my work does. So I thought I would just show you the few things I bought just to make sure that I'm prepared to keep myself out of the stores and out of harm's way. Enjoy. I have an Aldi stock up haul for you today. As I've been saying in my videos, I'm not prepping, I'm not hoarding, but being on ketogenic diet, there's certain things I need to have to stay on plan. So I stopped at the grocery store and just picked up a variety so that I will have them and some's for this week. Oh, I spent $98, but there's a rug in the plant. I got some strawberries. They were $1.29. I love them. I grabbed Swiss pepper jack and extra sharp in the block cheese any meal I can just have cheese and salami cheese and meat and that's a meal for me these aren't going in the freezer but next time I go to the grocery store I'm gonna get a selection for the freezer um, some asparagus I think I'm gonna have that for dinner tonight I grabbed four packs of my cork rinds oh I don't know how much the asparagus was these were like 89 cents or something an extra coffee just to throw in the freezer uh, the cream cheese is for work tomorrow it's a birthday and we get bagels, so I needed to bring some cream cheese. The eggs. I grabbed three dozen. They were 48 cents a dozen. That's a great price. I eat a lot of eggs. And if I'm going to be home a lot, I need to cook a lot. So I grabbed three dozen eggs. Um, two of my sweetener. I always grab one or two every time I go because I use it between here and work. I grabbed four things of cream, and the good through date is May 3rd. So I'm fine with cream. Um, I grabbed two things of shredded mozzarella and two bags of sharp cheddar. I cook a lot with this and bake with it. So I need to have that on hand. Uh, two things of bacon just to have in the freezer so I don't have any bacon right now. This is awesome. It was $4.99. It's thick cut pepperoni. This is like to go with the cheese. This is a good meal pepperoni. Not pizza but for a meal. And these are good. I'm going to throw them both in the freezer. Um, they're only good for about a week after opening, so I don't know if I want to prepackage them, like repackage them into smaller containers and then put them in the freezer. Um, so that was all the food I picked up. Here's my other dozen eggs. And then for $4.99, I grabbed a philodendron because, well, I need one. It's pretty, isn't it? It's so pretty. And then I will be doing a video but I'm painting my kitchen cabinets white and my dining room chairs are gonna end up being black. And so I wanted a white dining room rug and that's a five by seven and it was only $25, which I think is nice and it will match. So that is kind of it for what I bought at Aldi to stock up and do a little, just a little preparedness, things that I need to have on hand. Um, I'll add some more to this video, but that's what I have for now. Bye. Okay, now the next bit of preparing I did is I love tea, and I don't want to be without. So I went on to this company. It's called iHerb, I-H-E-R-B. And they're an online seller of a lot of health food stuff. I'm drinking tea. I love all kinds of tea. Um, and they sell at very reasonable prices and the shipping is $1. So I picked up four boxes of tea. Um, I got some organic baked cinnamon apple. Doesn't that sound delicious? And this is Tazo. I think this was the most expensive. I think it was like $3.99. I got some berries tea, which is a product of Ireland. You get 40 tea bags and I think it was like $2.98. And then I got the Berry's Irish Breakfast Tea. I love this tea. Was not running out of that. And then I got some Celestial Cinnamon Spice. Apparently I was feeling apple-y. So all of this tea cost me about $15, which really is the same amount I was paying a store. I mean, it was all equivalent, except for I can't even find this here in the States where I live. I'm sure they sell it here, but. And this Berry's is good until 2021, which it'll never last that long. 
The cinnamon is good until 2021, and so is, I mean, it's Best Buy. And this is Best Buy January of 2022. But I will drink all this. I love this in the fall, especially. Because um, I can't do apple cider, but I can do apple tea. So I did an order from iHerb. I've ordered other things from them. But like I said, their shipping is $1. So that's really cost effective. Um, and then the last thing I did, I will show you here in a little bit, is I stocked up on some pet supplies. And then I think I'm good. I have other stuff, but we'll talk about that. But yeah, this is what I've done to prepare just in case we get quarantined or I have to work from home. Um, you know, who knows, but I just want to be ready and it helps me sleep at night. So we'll be back. All right. Here is my chewy.com order for what I picked up for the pets to be prepared. <laughs> There's Alex. Alex. Hi, buddy. You say hi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, this is what I bought, and my total, I believe, was $63. Now, I did get emailed, hi, Dubs, I did get emailed a <laughs> coupon for $15 off my order, which is kind of why I ordered it. Dubs, up. Okay, so here's how the prices compare. The cat litter was $5.99 for a 20-pound bag. At Target, I spend... $5.99 for 25 pound bag. So the kitty litter was a little more expensive, but I took into consideration my $15 off and savings on other items and the sheer, <laughs> Debbie, the sheer convenience of having them delivered to my door. Now, the Temptations treats were about the same. They were $8. The cat food was a little less. Um... Yeah, I think it was 48 servings, so 24 cans, and I think it was about the same, possibly a little less than that. I can't remember what I paid for it. The cat food was a pretty big savings. It was $18 for a 13-pound bag. At my store, I get them a 6-pound bag or a 9-pound bag for $18. It's 9. So that was a great savings for the cat food, and that's Purina Beyond Simply. It's white meat chicken and some veg, and Alex really likes that. And then the kitty litter pan, also a great savings. This is a giant kitty litter pan with high sides, and it's $7.99 shipped. And I got free shipping. So overall, I did really well. You know, I don't think... Dubby. <laughs> Dubby. I don't think Chewy.com is a huge savings as far as food and things go. There's a little bit of savings, but the beauty is it's delivered right to your front door. And that's why I did it. Is there gonna be a run on cat litter? No. But is it convenient to have? Absolutely. That is four weeks, eight weeks. All right, we'll say seven, because they're a little smaller bag. <laughs> Buddy, seven weeks worth of cat litter, uh, you know, a month and a half worth of cat food for Alex. The wet food, they share a can. <laughs> Hi, baby. They share one can a night, or half a can, so one serving. They, I only give them each a half of a half. So there's 48 meals in there, and then the kitty litter pan I just needed. And then, of course, uh, Wellington's treats. So I hope that um, helps you if you're gonna be doing any type of stocking up or preparing for potential quarantine or whatever, yes, cleaning products. Get your hand sanitizer, wash your hands, don't touch your face. I mean, that's what the CDC is recommending. But for me, I'm taking it one step further and if I don't have to go out and about into the stores, uh, better for me. Better to keep myself in less exposure. But I'm also not saying I'm gonna hole up for months on end. But if I don't have to go to the grocery store or Target, great. All right, everybody, you have a good one, and I hope you enjoy your day. Bye.